<laughs> the one we're most used to would be um, these types of units. So when we're going from feet to inches or tons to pounds um, and gallons to quarts. So really on this one, you just wanna be familiar with the abbreviations for each of the units because you're, that's what they're gonna be asking for um, or that's how the questions are gonna be worded with the abbreviations. All right, so um, when you're in elementary school and um, they teach you to convert units, they might teach you like if you're going from large to small, you divide or if you're going from a smaller to a larger unit, you divide. And that still works. But because we have just used proportions, I want to show you how you can use a proportion in order to uh, convert a measurement. And um, I think it's really easy to do once you know about proportions because then you don't have to um, figure out uh, if, whether or not you're multiplying or dividing. The proportion helps you figure that out. So if I want to convert five pounds into ounces, I'm going to start just like every other proportion with the words. So I'm going to use pounds, P for pounds, and O for ounces. And I'm going to set up my proportion. All right, so before I use the, um, the example they give me, I'm going to go back to this chart up here. And I can see that right up here it says one pound is equal to 16 ounces. So that's going to be my first um, set of boxes. One pound is equal to 16 ounces. And then I'm going to fill in with the information I get from the problem. So I want to know what five pounds is because pounds is on top. I'm going to put it up here. And then this is the one I don't know. So to solve this proportion, I know I need to multiply 16 times 5. That gives me 80. And then I would divide by 1. Well, 80 divided by 1 is just 80. So this means that 5 pounds is equal to 80 ounces. <coughs> and the second example, I'm converting from ounces to cups. So I'm going to do ounces and cups and draw my boxes. And then before I do anything else, I'm going to look at this chart again and see where I have ounces and where I have cups. And that would be right here. So um, one cup, that would be down here, is equal to eight fluid ounces. And I want to know um, what 28 ounces is, so that would be right here. And then X is what I don't know, that's going to go right here. So that tells me that I need to multiply one times 28, which is just 28. And then I have to do what? Divide it by eight. So I'm going to divide eight into 28, and I'll go three times, a remainder of four, and I'm going to add a decimal, bring that up, add a zero, and bring it down. It'll go into 45 times. So that tells me that um, 28 ounces is equal to 3.5 cups. All right, so again, once you know a proportion, um, converting measurements is really just setting up your proportion and solving. So let's try a few more exercises. This one is five pounds equal to something ounces. So I know I'm going from pounds. That LB stands for pounds. And then the OZ is for ounces. So I'm going to set up my boxes. And then look at my chart to see how many pounds and how many ounces. And know that when you take your star chest, um, they're um, on the star chart that they provide for you, a lot of these measurements are on there. Um, and so we're going to uh, give you a copy of that so that you can get used to using it. But for now, I'm just going to use the one um, at the top of these notes. One pound, where is it? Here. Okay, so it says a pound is equal to 16 ounces, so one over 16. I want to know how many five pounds is. That would go on top. So this is telling me I'm going to multiply 16 times five to get 80. So again, 80 ounces. 48 inches into feet, so I'm going to write inches over feet and set up my boxes. And I know from the chart, or maybe I know in my head, that there are 12 inches in one foot. And I'm going to put the 48 up here with the inches. And this tells me to multiply 1 times 48 and then divide by 12. So if I divide 12 into 48, it's going to go 4 times. So my answer is 4 feet. In this third example, I'm doing yards and feet. So set up your boxes. And then when I look at the top of my chart, it says that one yard is equal to three feet. This is where I'm looking, right here. I want to know six yards, that would go on top. And then X. This tells me to multiply three times six, that gives me 18 feet. I continue, seven quarts and pounds, I'm going to do, or pints, quarts over pints. If I look up here at my chart, Tells me that, that one quart has two pints. And let's see. One quart, two pints. 
and I want to know what 7 quarts are, so that would go here. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 7 to get 14. Also, for quarts and pints in that whole system, uh, don't forget the land of gallon, that little story. We're happy to share that with you if, if you've forgotten it, but that's one another way you can remember how many pints and quarts are in a gallon. <coughs> 8,000 pounds. So remember, LB stands for pounds. T stands for tons. Set up your boxes. There are 2,000 pounds and one ton. Okay, that's written up here. 110 equals 2,000 pounds. All right, I want to know 8,000 pounds, what that's equal to in tons. So I'm going to multiply these two and then divide by 2,000. So 2,000 into 8,000 will go four times. Oops, 8,000. So this would be four tons. All right. This one, number six, three and one fourth. Before I can convert this one, I kind of need to change this to a decimal. So I'm going to divide four into one. It won't go. I'm going to add my decimal and zero. Four going to ten two times. Subtract, I get two. Bring down another zero. Four going to twenty five times. So this is really, I'm going to rewrite this as 3.25 because that's just easier to multiply by. I'm still going to use um, the proportion miles to feet. And if I look again at the information they've provided me, I can see that one mile has 5,280 feet. <coughs> and this is one of the units not on your star chart. So this would be a good one to memorize. They tell you how many yards are in a mile, but not how many feet. All right, 3.25 miles. So I need to multiply 3.25 times 5,280. Zero, 40, 14, 26. Start with a zero, two times zero, zero, 16, five, and 10. Start with two zeros, three times zero, zero, 24, carry your two, eight, 15. It's like zero, zero, 10, carry one, 11, 15, 11, carry one, seven, one. All right, and then on this one, don't forget about where your, um, oops, sorry, this is a six. Um, where your decimal goes. So I have one, two decimal places here, so I need to move my decimal over two places here. So this ends up being 1,007, or sorry, 17,160 feet. All right, in the last row, four cups and fluid ounces. So I'm just going to use cups to ounces. Um, I can tell at the top that it says that one cup is eight ounces, so I'm going to fill in the four and then multiply. This would be 32 ounces. And the next one, I have cups and pints. So for cups, um, I'm going to use, let's see, there are two cups and one pint, and I want to know six cups that would go on top. So I'm going to multiply those one times six and then divide by two. So six divided by two is three, so three pints. And the last one, one half gallon. Again, because it's a fraction, I want to change that to a decimal first. So if I divide two into one, I can't really do that. Change that to 0.5. So this is really 0.5 now. I'm still going to use gallons and quarts. And if I look at the information I've been given, it says that one gallon is four quarts. And I'm trying to figure out what half a gallon is. So if I multiply 0.5 times four, I get 20, but I have a decimal here, so I need to have one decimal here. So this is really T quarts.